What is inventory turnover exactly? In the simplest terms, inventory turnover is how many times inventory is repeatedly used or sold in a certain time period. This is usually a year, but it may differ depending on your business timeline and needs. To put it another way, it's the ratio between sales made and inventory held in stock. It is calculated based on the cost of inventory, but to keep things simpler here's an example just based on units. If you sold 500 units in a year and had 500 units in stock on average, your inventory turnover ratio was 1 to 1, usually just stated as 1. You could also say that you turned over your inventory once or had one inventory turn. If you sold a total of 1,000 units and still 100 units in stock on average, your inventory turnover ratio would be 10. To achieve this, you must have purchased a lot of stock during the year, probably on multiple occasions. Your inventory turnover ratio is just one number. But it gives a good indication of how well stock is flowing through the business during the year. Once you have your ratio, it can be compared to industry averages to see how your business is measuring up if you find you have a low inventory turnover ratio. It implies that you have poor sales and excess inventory that you need to get moving. If, however, you have a high inventory turnover ratio, this indicates strong sales or Perhaps large discounts, high inventory turnover suggests that you are selling products quickly, which is an indicator of good business performance overall. Inventory turnover depends on two key business operations stock purchasing and sales stock purchasing is, of course, how much inventory your business purchases throughout the year. If you are purchasing higher inventory amounts during the year, it means your company will have to sell higher amounts just to match or improve inventory turnover. If your business fails to sell more stock, it will become vulnerable to higher storage costs. Let's do an example to calculate the inventory turnover ratio. First of all assume these figures for your business. You need to know your cost of goods sold and your average inventory. You can calculate COGS from your balance sheets at the start and end of the designated time period with the following formula. Cost of goods sold is equal to beginning inventory plus net inventory purchases less ending inventory. If beginning inventory was $340,000 and there were net purchases of $560,000 and ending inventory was $220,000, then cost of goods sold will be $340,000 plus $560,000 less $280,000 making it $620,000. Average inventory can be calculated by taking average of beginning inventory and ending inventory. From above figures the average inventory is $310,000. Now let us calculate inventory turnover ratio that is equal to cost of goods sold divided by average inventory we will get inventory turnover ratio of 2 so the ratio example is exactly 2. What is the best inventory turnover ratio? For many e-commerce businesses, the ideal inventory turnover ratio is about 4 to 6. All businesses are different. Of course, but in general a ratio between 4 and 6 usually means that the rate at which you restock items is well balanced with your sales.